Hi, my name is Daniel and I am a nutrition specialist accredited through the American Academy of Sports Dietitians and Nutritionists and today I want to talk about sugar in drinks, specifically soda. We, most of us are aware of the increasing obesity problem that Americans are seeing and we've seen a lot of this rise in obesity with children early on. We've also seen a rise in type 2 diabetes especially in children, type 2 diabetes 85% of the time is completely preventable and it usually happens because people are putting too much sugar into their body, too much un unnatural sugar into their body and the insulin producing cells get damaged so they are unable to remove the excess sugar that your body doesn't need to keep the cycle flowing properly and that's what basically causes type 2 diabetes. I have a bottle, a 22 ounce bottle of Sprite here with me today and we've seen states recently trying to combat this obesity problem by putting a, some type of ban on the size of sodas that can be sold to the general public. I also have a bottle of carbonated water, one teaspoon measuring device, a bag of dumbbell sugar and two glasses. I wanted to demonstrate because we read a lot of the time of how there's no nutritional value to soda whatsoever and how bad it is for you. But I feel seeing and reading are kind of two different things. So I thought I would put on a demonstration of exactly what you're putting into your body when you're drinking soda. In this case, we're drinking Sprite. And I want it to be noted that there are 64 grams of sugar according to the nutrition label on this bottle of Sprite. And with every 4.2 grams of sugar, it's equal to one teaspoon. So I'm literally going to do out the math here and say if you divide 64 by 4.2, you get about 15 as a number, which will be equivalent to, if in terms of teaspoons, 15 teaspoons, in this case, of sugar. What I want to do right now is I'm going to literally scoop out from this Domino's bag 15 teaspoons of this sugar and bear with me as it might take a little bit of time. So this is teaspoon number one, teaspoon number two, four, 10, 13, 15. Now, let's see if you can see this clearly, but I would say almost half of this glass right here is filled with just sugar right now. I know a 22 ounce bottle of Sprite here and a lot of people are more drinking 22 ounce bottles than they are the cans which are 12 ounces. But this 22 ounce bottle is probably not going to fit all of Sprite into a standard size glass like we have here. So it's probably going to have to be divvied up. But picture some of the, I'll even pour some of the sugar. Picture some of the sugar in this glass but there's still 15 tablespoons of sugar altogether. Now, I want to take out my carbonated water, and I'm gonna pour, fill up this glass with the carbonated water. It fills up pretty quickly because there is a ton of sugar, of course, in there. I'm gonna just gonna let that settle up for a second. I'm also gonna open up this bottle of Sprite, and Got a lot of carbonation in there. I'm gonna pour this bottle of Sprite into this glass right here. I'm gonna fill it all the way up or as least as high as I can. And I'll put the excess in, in the other one, in the other glass. We'll just see, see how much we can fit in here. We're gonna get most of it. So that's almost to the brim. I'm gonna pour the excess in here. Let that settle down. So that's, this whole bottle is empty. Put this off to the side. Now, this glass is filled up about halfway, so I'll fill the second glass up with the carbonated water about halfway. And that's pretty, that's pretty level right there. So, all we've done with these two glasses, the one with the sugar and the carbonated water, is just add 15 tablespoons of sugar and carbonated water. Now, according to Sprite's nutrition label, 
There is not a significant source of fat, calories, saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, fiber, vitamin A, basically nothing of nutritional value. Now, according to what is other ingredients are contained in this bottle besides the 64 grams of sugar is carbonated water, kind of like what we just added, high fructose corn syrup, which is basically, oh great, more sugar, citric acid, natural flavors, I want to make this clear right now, it's going to say sodium citrate, sodium benzoate, and then right underneath that, I just taking a second to read what's underneath that. It says low sodium. We just listed about two or three sodium chemicals that are in here, but low sodium it is, I guess. Now, as you can see, these glasses are completely full. These glasses are full about halfway. Basically, the only ingredient left missing in these is more corn syrup, so more sugar, and some sodium. And otherwise, it's just basically carbonated water and a whole ton of sugar. The bigger size that you get of soda, the more sugar it's going to contain. So think about when you go to the movies, there's a lot of soda that you're getting with those big gulps. Yeah, it's going to contain a lot more than 15 tablespoons of sugar in all that, especially if you, you know, and just think about if you get a refill or how many times you go to the movies and get that. or Depending on what type of soda you get, there contains a little bit more. Sprite, of course, contains 64 grams, but I believe there's Mountain Dew that even contains a higher thing than that in their 22 ounce bottle. So, I just want you to see this visual and remember this next time that you're thinking about getting a soda and instead of going for a water or something healthier, I would recommend a water or you could even just do carbonated water. This contains absolutely zero sugar. It's just carbonated water. It's a better choice. That's all that I'm basically trying to say about that. And I hope you liked this demonstration. You can find more at www.nutrifitsuccess.org. Meantime, cheers.